Hey you guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Friday and I have so much to kind of catch you guys up on. So the first thing I want to say is my schedule's changing. I'm going to be working 410 still, but like my day's gonna be Friday where I work and then I'll have Monday off. So this weekend I have a four day weekend. I'm hoping to vlog a lot more. It was funny, I was coming out of my house today and I'm like, I don't feel like vlogging, so I'm not gonna vlog. And then I was like, you know what? No, I love it. So I can't not vlog. And I need to catch you up on so much stuff. So yeah, new work schedule, but like not really. It's just kind of like a shift in days that I work, which is fine. It also works out better because like my parents have Monday off. So every Sunday I would always stress out because I had to get ready for work and prep for the week and they were like oh it's kind of like their Saturday so I was like you know stressing out when they were just like chilling <laughs> and award shows always happen on freaking Sundays which I have no idea why I think it's kind of stupid it should be on probably like Friday or something you can finally like stay up to watch like award shows or stuff that happens on Sundays and not have to worry about getting up in the morning. So all in all, I think it's gonna be good and I'm okay with it. Next, I wanna talk about my sunglass issue. So I left my sunglasses at my friend Kayla's and I don't know if she's like busy or whatever, but like I haven't really heard anything from her. And I'm like, those are like my emotional support sunglasses. Like, as you can see, these were my emotional support sunglasses, but I changed when I got my hexagonal ones because like, I love those. Also these, I was trying to be bougie when in 2015 and wanted the polarized. So these are like the more expensive polarized kind. And I accidentally cracked like one of like the corners of them. You can't really see it cause it's like on the inside, but it was at, I think it was at Playlist Live. And I cracked it and I was like so depressed. So I was like, you know what? It's a sign to just get new sunglasses. Um, I got new sunglasses and I love those. I've had the hexagonal shape ones for like four years almost. I'm thinking I'm just gonna get a new pair because I've had those for four years. And even if I get another pair of the same sunglasses, like I know I'll use them and everything. And they'll just be like a backup of a backup if I get my sunglasses again. So I don't know. I know it's not that big of a deal, but like sunglasses to me, I always need sunglasses. I always, I don't know, when I drive and it's sunny out, I need sunglasses. So not having them is just like kind of tragic in my world. And I know that they're kind of expensive. I kind of get like the expensive kind, but I'm not the type of person to like keep changing their sunglasses or lose them but I can't really say that in this sense because like I left them at my friend's house, but it's not like I lost them because like I know where they are, you know what I mean? So I don't know. Wow, this is kind of like a long update, but it's fine. Also too, another reason why I hate the sunglasses I'm wearing now, number one, the aviator style is kind of like out of style. Um, I mean, no, it's kind of classic and stuff, but as I was telling you, they're polarized. So when I look at my phone, it's all rainbowy. So I can't really like look at my phone safely and not get like a minor headache when I look at my phone. So yeah, and I love how these were like the more expensive kinds. But again, that was back in the day when I was trying to be like, oh, these are the better kind, you know? Oh, so annoying. All right, so another update I wanted to tell you guys. Don't worry guys, this is like the last update. Think of it as like a drive with me update video for the first half or whatever. So I'm going to Cycle Bar, obviously, um, and it really sucks because I'm being like forced to drive to Winter Park, and granted, Winter Park is like 35 to 40 minutes away from me, depending on traffic, and the reason why I picked this location was because they own two locations, so they own Hamlin and Winter Park, but I'm thinking they like sold it or like not the same owners own it anymore because I can't sign up for Hamlin. and. I normally go to Hamlin for rides because they're just, it's just such a closer location to me. Like I can get there in like 24 minutes and I don't have to leave my house an hour before the freaking 45 minute class starts. If they changed it, I'm just gonna have to cancel because like I can't be forced to go here like every week. I would normally drive to Winter Park once a week for a spin class and then the rest of the time for like the other classes I would just go to Hamlin and pay the tolls because it's just so much closer but they changed it so I'm kind of like I was gonna go to Hamlin this morning and then I was like I saw that I was gonna have to be forced to go to Winter Park that's like the second time this week someone's tried to run into me like changing lanes like what the heck um yeah see like I'm already 
already hitting like a big bunch of traffic. I'm kind of sad, but you know, it's fine. But I was saying, I love all the cycle instructors at Winter Parks. They're all freaking amazing and I absolutely love them. It's just like this location, it's just not gonna do it for me. You know what I mean? So I can't be doing this. And I think that's all the updates for now, but I hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And on to whatever I film next. I will update you on like if I had to like cancel my membership because I can't be driving this distance. Um, and then if I do have to cancel there, I'll just sign up at Hamlin and I will, I'll wait until like a really good deal happens and then I'll sign up at Hamlin and then just work out like at my little fitness center in my community. That's probably my game plan. Cause like I do love cycle bar. It's just like, I'm not going to pay the full price. Like, no, I got the black Friday deal, um, for, so I'm paying like $69 a month for four rides four ride credits or whatever so it works out um and it's not as much as like a regular membership would be hey, I want you to feel that whole circle those legs just rolling around okay allergies are in full force I cannot stop sneezing and my nose is so runny which I used to love spring but now I like hate spring because of this so I'm definitely more of a fall girly now but I wanted to show you guys I got my Starbucks after spin and honestly, have you guys noticed they've been changing the ice at different like Starbucks locations? Luckily, this Starbucks in Winter Park hasn't changed their ice so it's like still the good ice. But like the little tiny like balls of ice, I'm not a fan of like, what do you guys think? Because I don't like it. Okay, I'm just gonna give you some updates because like I vlogged all my updates and then I was like, I'll get back to you. So I asked them at Cycle Bar and basically it's just like a technology glitch. So everything's fine and I can just call and book a ride at Hamlin when I want to go there. It's fine. Apparently a lot of other people have been having problems with it. And then they basically, well, some of the people have actually gotten like really rude about it, which is like crazy. I hate people like that. And then... The second one, my friend did text me back. She was like, half of the time, she doesn't like look at her messages cause her job, like she always gets a lot of like notifications and like messages. So she was like, just call me, I'm so sorry. Like you can pick them up whenever, just like call me. And I'm like, all right. So I think I'm gonna go tomorrow after Cycle Bar to get them. So that's great. I don't have to spend money on a new pair. And I mean, low key I kind of do because they're I was like gonna use it as an excuse to get new sunglasses. There are these pair that like I really like. I saw like a similar pair that Aspen was wearing, Aspen Overd, so I don't know. I might still get some new sunglasses eventually, but I'm glad I'll get my emotional support sunglasses back soon. But today's just been kind of chill. I've been doing laundry and then had lunch and Valerie's gonna cook tonight, so we're gonna have chicken. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this video is kind of just like chatty updates, but it's fine. It is the next day and I just figured I'd continue the vlog because I have like no footage. Um, but I'm on my way to spin class. Sorry my hair looks crazy. I need to wash it today. Um, but anyway, yeah. Going to spin because this is Ethan's last class. I love Ethan's class. He's probably like, he's definitely one of my favorite instructors. And I'm really sad to see him go, but he's starting like this ice cream business. So I'm really happy for him. He'll probably be like really successful in that, hopefully. Um, he has a really good location. I forgot the name of the ice cream place, but anyway, I'm really sad because I love his classes. He makes me laugh. He's just like so, I don't know, just chill and motivational and relatable. And I like his music. That's a big part of it too. Like if you're spinning to like bad music, it's just not it. So I'm really sad that he's leaving, but I am glad though that like I get to go to his last ride. I think he was my favorite at Hamlin, definitely. So <sighs> I'm sad, but it's okay. Everything changes. I used to spend every Monday morning in his class before work. And yeah, those were good times. And then I would change and <sighs> anyway sad but happy for him. Relax that upper body. Loosen it up. Relax please. Still moving. 
Okay, so I am back in the car and I went to Starbucks after, so I got myself a little drink. It's all like melted now, but um, I got my sunglasses too. I might still buy myself a new pair because like I was honestly thinking about that, but I don't know. I still love these sunglasses. Glad I got them back and I swear it's so crazy. So my friend, she has this ex-boyfriend, right? So he came to her house and like dropped like some stuff off and obviously she did not know he was coming so it was kind of crazy and I stayed there with her because like I don't know like I would never like leave someone when that sort of thing happens so we kind of just like talked and caught up and I don't know just enjoyed each other's company and we sipped on some water it's not that early anymore like it's definitely like later afternoon it's like 1 30 I'm stuck in this traffic because she like lives like where she lives is not far right but there's like all this traffic in between like these little bits that there's like stop and go traffic always unless it's 5 a.m. then there's like no traffic but normally there's always traffic I also um, got her like a cute little pink mug I was gonna show you guys and then I was like no I need to get there um, so I'm not like too late because she was coming from Tampa so Basically, I got her this cute little cup and like the Starbucks gift card just like as a little thank you because like she always invites me on these like really cool things. Everything basically when she like invites me is like free of charge. It is so crazy. So yeah, it was just like a little thank you um, for her. But yeah, I'm just sitting in traffic now and that's the update. I'm pretty hungry. I was going to eat something, but I was like, no, I just rather get on the road and I'll eat when I get home. Got this beautiful steak I wanted to show you guys before I started digging in. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. 